All right, what's up YouTube? It's Saturday morning, I'm tired, I'm worn out. Ever happened to you, happens to me. But I designed these last night, micro fishing baits for ice fishing. Um, a lot of inspiration for these came from uh, like Odonata, which is the order of dragonflies and damselflies. So a lot of them will be for the back end of a jig, maybe ice fishing, early spring pan fishing. But what we're going to do is instead of doing a double sided mold, a two side mold with the VAC 50, I think these are just going to be flat on the surface and I'm going to pour over it. So it, when it degasses, it's going to come up and uh, had comment on another video which suggested it. I think we can get away with just scraping it with a scraper. And I was gonna do a design of lure on them, but I just, you know, it took me a while to figure out how to get the complex angles done in Fusion 360. So, although a valuable learning experience, it would have made extremely boring content to watch. Hey everybody, this is Editing Elliot, and um, I decided I might as well just take you through the Fusion 360 projects real quick instead of doing a design allure separate on it, I might as well do it in uh, the video that we're doing the project. So we're in the Fusion 360 environment here. I did this in two separate projects. You can see there's uh, the bin of four and then the other bin of five. In this video, we're gonna be molding this bin of five. So that's what the uh, back 50 is actually carrying on right now. But um, we'll just go through this. It took me a little while to kind of think about how I wanted all the extrusions and all that to go. The biggest thing is is that there's a lot of sketches involved in all of these. So I'll take the bodies off and we'll just add some sketches. So basically each one is, if we broke it down to a skeletonized version of it, each one is a, a sketch on the flat plane with a line and then a sketch on the vertical plane perpendicular to that line. And then, let's see if I can't find some of these. I'll just add them all so it makes more sense. Zoom out a little bit here. Okay. So like for example, on this one, I'll add the, the bodies back. You can kind of get an idea of what that sketch looked like. So then this right here, is just one loft, a loft of this profile to this here, All right? So I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just mock that up real quick. So here's the loft of this profile to this, and then we're gonna do a center uh, center line, or actually a rail. Sorry, on this. So you see how that tapers down now? So the rail just tells it to hit the bed and stick to it. The issue I was having was I originally had done a spine, a spline line here and then a straight line from here to there. The problem with that was that the loft wouldn't be able to run multiple paths. So what I had to end up doing was I ran the spline line up this main flat line and then curved that spline spline line so then it eventually lofted all the way to the end of the point and then the rest is just a series of this was a press pull up and then you just add the little triangles pull those up more this is a uh, a fillet on the outside of these portions here and then you just mess around with it until it works. Extruded uh, the portions of a vertical sketch out to here just to add this kind of connecting bar that we'll use later. And the rest are basically on that same principle. This is just uh, two spline lines mirrored on this line to the sketch and so on and so forth all the way through. 
So not that complicated, but there are some steps that had to be met to make that work correctly. And I think what it ended up doing was created some pretty cool designs that hopefully end up catching fish. So I think right about now we'll uh, go do a time lapse. Not every project goes 100% well, so there's that, but I'm okay with it. I think it's pretty good, and it could use a little bit of cleanup on the edges. Um, the mold itself, really nice, came out really flat, so, you know, I don't know what's going on. It helped a little bit when I heated up the, the scraper, so after I heated the scraper and pulled it across, it would keep these in there flat but they still have connection issues because as you're pulling it across you can't get it completely flat even though the mold was done on glass and it's completely flat it still has the air pockets and stuff um, from the vac 50 so can't win them all right it works they look okay they'll probably catch a fish it's all i really care about but i'll try and tweak it a little bit and see if i can't make it a little bit better because we're always trying to improve if this is something you like Maybe give a subscribe, because this is kind of what I do here. Uh, use the 3D printer for kind of outdoor related activities. So if you want to, leave a like, subscribe, and keep your amps up and your filament dry.